Hi everyone, the name's Aaron, and here's a little food for thought. So, video games are called video games because you can play them. Otherwise, they'd just be videos, right? Therefore, when it comes down to it, although an immersive world, interesting characters and well-written story are all just as important to a video game as they are to regular forms of entertainment, like books, movies and TV shows, it's only natural that a game is nothing without solid gameplay. And, of course, what is gameplay without game mechanics? Whether it be something as simple as aiming down sights in order to fire a gun more accurately, to controlling the flow of time via your own movements, game mechanics are crucial when it comes to a person's engagement with the overall experience. One way or another, I'm personally a huge fan of games which give us mechanics that allow for the freedom of player expression, specifically the expression of flair and style. For instance, some people may find that Katarina's dagger reset mechanic allows them to express their desire to become a Beyblade, as they Katarina all over Summoner's Rift, while others will find freedom with Doom Eternal's expansive arsenal via the nutty quick switch mechanic. Still, what game mechanic is simpler and more effective when it comes to showing off than the universally recognized oh-so-satisfying parry? You'll find it all over the gaming landscape, from fighters to RPGs, and nowadays even first-person shooters. It may take on a different name depending on the context, but the core mechanic remains mostly the same. That is, when a player times a particular input just right against an incoming attack, they'll be rewarded by completely negating any damage, and usually a chance to return the favor. Whether it be Dark Souls or Metroid Dread, parrying is a mechanic which is self-explanatory enough to the point that even a person who's never played those games, let alone plays games at all, will more than likely recognize an impressive parry when they see one. I could attempt to explain why parries are so badass from a more informative standpoint, but I'll leave that job to Daryl. Through the lens of psychology, his video essay on parrying will far out shine anything I could say on the matter, and it should more than adequately put into words why we love parries so much. But wait, before you head on over to check his video out, let's get to the actual reason I'm talking to you all today. What if I could show you a game mechanic which takes everything that makes parrying awesome and cranks it all up to 11? Did you know that in Ultra Kill, you aren't the only one who's able to shoot coins out of the air? Aside from your pesky, red, and now dead brother, malicious faces and sentries are two other enemies that can join in on the fun. Unfortunately for them, however, it turns out that doing so may not actually be in their best interests. This little interaction is called a chargeback, because you're essentially giving these guys a refund. That is, you're refunding them a laser beam right back into their faces. In its simplest form, executing a chargeback merely involves timing a coin toss at the correct angle, just as your customer is about to fire their deadly laser. You'll know if a basic chargeback has landed if the style bonus comes up on your style meter. That and the fact you probably just murdered something. Go figure. Chargebacks in Ultra Kill are very fun. I can't get enough of them. If I see an enemy charging up and raring to go, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm giving them my own two cents. But hey, Aaron, didn't you say something along the lines of a mechanic that cranks things up to 11? Sure, reflecting ranged attacks with a dinky little coin looks a fair bit cooler than doing so with the more traditional shield, sword, or temporarily indestructible body part. Yet, one could argue that chargebacks aren't all too different functionally compared with, say, a perfect guard against a guardian in Breath of the Wild, right? To that, I say, there's a reason why a chargeback is called a chargeback and a parry is called a parry. 
See, we've actually got a parry mechanic in Ultra Kill as well, one that most gamers will feel more familiarity with in aesthetic and execution. I'd also agree with the notion that most Ultra Kill players, whether new or veteran, will be going for regular parries much more often than chargebacks. Hell, most people may not even know about chargebacks until much later in their playtime if they ever find out about them at all. One way or another, I would like you to consider this. Parries do come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, varying in flamboyance and effect, whether it be a simple shield bash into stun or a spicy katana deflect into repost. However, as I mentioned at the start of the video, parrying at its core really boils down to timing some form of input correctly and being rewarded with the counter. In other words, it's really just a single action followed by a single result. Well, remember that I also mentioned how I'm a huge fan of games which provide us mechanics that allow for the freedom of player expression. Let's place heavy emphasis on the word freedom, because chargebacks are more than just an action and a result. Did you know that this is also a chargeback? And this, and even this. You see, when it comes to parrying, you gain satisfaction in the act of parrying itself. Mastering the tight timings, relishing the juicy animations and sound effects, telling your opponent, whether computer or human, that you've got the read on them. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying regular parries are underwhelming due to their nature, it's just that chargebacks are all of this and the simple yet extremely gratifying benefit of genuine creative freedom added on top. Don't believe me? No worries, you know what they say. Actions speak louder than words. So I present to you a remastered version of my first ever Ultra Kill chargeback montage, up to date with the fanciest stuff I have to offer. If you enjoy it, do feel free to like and subscribe, but without further ado, here we go. The beat is on it. 